Hello viewers, here is Dr. Mala Das Sharma, a retired professor of St. Pius 10th degree and PG college for women. Welcome to my channel Kim Philly. So let's start riddle number 44. Riddle number 44 is consisting of two riddles, 44A and 44B. So let's start riddle number 44A, which goes like this. Mr. X is bright, colorful and universal acceptor of electrons. Artificial rain is known, but artificial sunrise is an unimaginable wonder. Yes, Mr. X is able to do that with his friend oxalic acid. Mr. X can detect aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbons. So, this is riddle number 44A. Now, let's see the question. First question, who is Mr. X? The answer is potassium permanganate. Second question, why is he a universal acceptor of electrons? The answer is it is a strong oxidizing agent. In potassium permanganate, manganese is in its highest oxidation state, plus 7. Manganese can exist in variable oxidation state like plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 6 and plus 7. Plus 7 is the highest oxidation state and in potassium permanganate, manganese is present in plus 7 state. So, it is, an straw, it is a strong oxidizing agent which oxidizes the other substance and itself accept electrons or get reduced to manganese substance of lower oxidation state like manganese 2 or other. How does he react with oxalic acid? The answer is oxalic acid and potassium permanganate reaction is a redox reaction in which oxalic acid is oxidized and permanganate or manganese 7 is reduced to manganese 2. So potassium permanganate reacts with oxalic acid in acid medium whereby oxalic acid is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water is formed and permanganate is reduced to manganese 2 or manganese sulfate salt. Next question. How the artificial sunrise effect can be created in the laboratory? The answer is, this redox reaction between oxalic acid and potassium permanganate is the basis of this sunrise effect. What you have to do? In a beaker, you take oxalic acid solution, add little of manganese salt and then you add sulfuric acid. Okay, This manganese salt acts as a catalyst. And then slowly you add potassium permanganate and a wonderful sunrise effect will be seen on the screen. So the redox reaction between oxalic acid and potassium permanganate is the basis of sunrise effect. On an overhead projector, place a beaker containing oxalic acid, a small amount of manganese salt and sulfuric acid solution. Now add potassium permanganate solution slowly. A beautiful sunrise effect is seen on the screen. You can practice it in your chemistry lab. Next question. How does Mr. X detect aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbons? What is the name of the test? The answer is C. In aliphatic 
unsaturated hydrocarbon say alkenes if you add cold dilute potassium permanganate solution then this pink color of this potassium permanganate solution gets discharged why what happened here here this pi bonds of the double bond breaks down and two oh groups are added to this adjacent carbon atom which were joined by this double bond that means vicinal diol is formed as the color gets discharged this is considered as the test for unsaturation and it is known as Bayer's test for unsaturation. So, potassium permanganate is decolorized when added to aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbons. This reaction is known as Bayer's test for unsaturation. Now, coming to riddle number 44B, which goes like this Poor Mr. Y. Slowly loses his strength through decomposition. He is both donor and acceptor of electrons. People use him as an antiseptic wash in surgery, in wounds, during gargle and as mouthwash. He can bleach your hair to golden yellow color. So this is our riddle number 44B. Now. First question is Who is Mr. Y? The answer is hydrogen peroxide. Second question What are its decomposition products? Answer is oxygen and water. Hydrogen peroxide is decomposed to water and oxygen. If you keep hydrogen peroxide for some time, you will find that strength is decreased because of this decomposition. In presence of the catalyst like ferric chloride, the decomposition reaction gets faster. Next question. Why can he accept as well as donate electrons? The answer is... In hydrogen peroxide, oxygen present in the intermediate oxidation state that is minus 1. So, this oxygen which is in the intermediate oxidation state, it can be oxidized to superoxide and it can be reduced to oxide. That's why hydrogen peroxide can act as both oxidizing and reducing agent. Next question. Give one example each of Mr. Y as electron acceptor and donor. The answer is C. Hydrogen peroxide can oxidize potassium iodide in acid medium and iodide is oxidized to iodine and this hydrogen peroxide itself reduced to water. And along with that, potassium sulfate is formed. So, here, hydrogen peroxide is acting as oxidizing agent. Now, when, when hydrogen peroxide reacts with oxidizing agent or stronger oxidizing agent like potassium dichromate, potassium permanganate in acid medium, then this hydrogen peroxide is oxidized to oxygen and this oxidizing agent, here it is potassium dichromate, it is reduced to chromium salt. In dichromate, chromium is present in plus 6 state and in chromium sulfate, it is in plus 3 state. So, chromium from plus 6 state, it is reduced to chromium plus 3 state. Hydrogen peroxide, here oxygen is minus 1 oxidation state, which is oxidized to oxygen, elemental oxygen, which is in the 0 oxidation state. Next question, how can you generate oxygen gas in the laboratory using hydrogen peroxide? See, you can take 
any oxidizing agent say here in the reaction we have taken sodium hypochlorite or bleach solution and then if you add this hydrogen peroxide with the help of a syringe then slowly oxygen will be generated and that oxygen can be collected by the downward displacement of water instead of sodium hypochlorite you can take any oxidizing agent like potassium dichromate in acid medium permanganate in acid medium then also this oxygen will be generated that means oxidizing agent will oxidize hydrogen peroxide and oxygen will be generated which can be collected by downwards displacement of water so here oxygen is generated by the redox reaction other way oxygen can also be generated from hydrogen peroxide by decomposition of hydrogen peroxide so here we have taken this manganese 4 oxide then if you add this hydrogen peroxide through this column slowly then also hydrogen peroxide will decompose in presence of this catalyst and oxygen and water will be formed and this evolved oxygen can be collected by the downward displacement of water in our chemistry lab the unused chromium 6 solution that is dichromate solution chromate solution instead of throwing directly to the sink we used to convert it convert them to oxygen by allowing them to react with hydrogen peroxide okay because the this chromium 6 is highly poisonous what you used to do was to take this oxidizing agent like dichromate in acid medium and that is the unused dichromate solution in acid medium then you used to add this hydrogen peroxide and the liberated oxygen used to collect used to collect it by downwards displacement of water this is one of the best practice in our chemistry lab so we have come to the end of this video thank you